Namaste and welcome. My name is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance. I welcome everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. If you are my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your love, your support, your kindness. Thank you. Thank you. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, I welcome you to our family here. I welcome you to our community in YouTube, a family here. Today, I'm bringing forth a reading for all of you to get a snapshot of 2023 with a year overall. This can be applied to any aspect in your life. This can be in your career, your personal relationships, love relationships within your own self. So the first message that I was receiving as I was preparing our deck is that there are going to be a lot of travels. I see and I feel and sense that um, some of you are really traveling for either your work or a lover or you're meeting someone and um, I'm feeling also the energy of you going to certain heights, you reaching certain heights and you achieving certain goals and dreams and really soaring. So that was the first energy that I was picking up as I was preparing our decks. So this is a general reading and this is a snapshot reading. I have done some deep dives which will go like an hour. They're all under the playlist of 2023 and those ones I generally tell people that you know take a pen, take a paper, take a paper, sit down with your cup of tea or coffee or your favorite beverage and then relax and make notes because that would be like your coaching um, kind of readings that I bring forth. And this one, I wanted to do a snapshot. <clears throat> the first one up we are getting is serendipity. Yeah, I'm feeling that. And I'm seeing over here with this clover and this person flying up. And that was the energy I was speaking up, flying up. So we're going to look at more on how this is coming in in 2023. But I'm really picking up that you're going to really feel like you're in the flow. You're in the flow. Things are happening in a magical way. Th things are going to fall in place and you are going to wonder how that happened. That's the energy of serendipity that I'm picking up. 2023 energies. Aquarius, originality, philanthropy, and progressive Im imaginings. You know, I shuffle the decks. I use this on personal readings and I have done a few others like I just mentioned. And this energy did come up again. Uranus energy, which is um, one of the planets, ruling planets of Aquarius. You may be an Aquarius or you may be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, also, I would encourage you to um, look deeper into what is the energy of Aquarius? Each one of us has that. It's going to awaken in you in 2023. There's going to be some original ideas. Maybe you're going to join a philanthropic cause. Maybe you begin something, okay? Maybe you get attached to that. With that, that travel was what I was picking up. And I feel like with this progressive imaginings, I did tell you, you're going to soar the distance. You're going to rise and I see an upliftment. With both of these energies, I'm seeing an upliftment. I'm seeing mountains. So some of you may be actually living in terrains which are which have a lot of mountains. That's one. But I'm also feeling that you are rising above the challenges you have had up to now. And now you're ready to pour information, energy, knowledge, understanding in yourself, in humanity, in your workplace from a higher perspective. I also see this opening up as some job or something that you do that is going to be very, very um, unique. Something that hasn't been done before and you bring that up. 2023 energy. We get Order of the Melchizedek and it says here, Embraced by light, mission and covered. Do not give up. So with all this light activation in 2023, what I am picking up is that you will be finally understanding that this is what I want to do in life. This is my mission. This is what I'm cut out for. You know, many of us, we go on different paths thinking that this is what we want to do, whether it's in work, you know, we want to tend to the family, we want to work in an industry, we, uh, we get a degree in something, or we get a skill set in something and we feel like that's it. But as a multidimensional being, we have many talents. And I feel like 
for those who are tuning in now that you've been trying your hand at different things and there hasn't been that final beat that you feel like, yeah, this is my thing. Yes, this is, I'm hearing a big yes. And this has come next to it. I'm feeling that this opportunity, this new pathway, this, um, uh, this new job, something that you are either starting as an entrepreneur is going to actually be not something that I'm feeling like comes in suddenly. It's going to be such a, if you look back at the end of 2023 and you will look back and you'll say, I don't even know where it began. Serendipity, you know, you're going to be guided to certain places where your heart feels called to. Maybe you feel like going and hanging out with people there. You want to go network over there. You want to invite some people. You get inspired to go to a certain location. You want to go there for a vacation. You want to go there for uh, dinner, for lunch. You want to you know, enroll in certain activity. All these promptings of the heart are serendipitously actually helping you to uncover what you are here to do. How beautiful. I love that. For those of you who have been seeking clarity, because I did polls on my channel and I, re I, I saw that about 25 to 30 percent of you are looking for more clarity in your life and purpose. So here comes clarity in 2023. Wow. Wow. I love it. I did feel the energy of you rising to higher levels, new heights. And here we get the energy of the king. We get the energy of the sun. So what I'm picking up before I see what the angels have written here is I'm feeling optimism. I'm feeling like finally there's light at the end of the tunnel. Finally, I'm in the right place at the right time. When was it going to be my time to shine? Your time to shine is 2023. Your time is now. OK, you're going to and it says here, I powerfully lead my mission and it talks about mission uncovered. So you're definitely rising to uh, some sort of a status, some sort of power, some sort of a um, higher position, higher authority where you're going to be leading others. We're going to show the way to others and um, you're definitely going to be it's going to require a lot of courage, which you already have, and it's going to be untapped potential. You're going to not realize how much courage you have until you're faced with certain things and you'll make those choices from the depth of your heart, from the core of your heart. And as you make those choices from the core of your heart, it's going to lead you to your mission and you're going to absolutely love this i feel that i see you making more um, strategic decisions in this year if in the past and previous years you have been wishy-washy you were unclear you were not sure of how you're going to move forward you were not sure of how things are manifesting with clarity coming in with you moving forward you surrendering through the flow you being more strategic about my plans, my goals, what is it that I wish to experience in 2023. So whatever the roadblocks is, whatever I need to let go, I'm going to be courageous and face that and I'm going to do it because that's what I want to experience. So I see a renewed sense of passion. I see a renewed sense of drive come up. And this time around this drive and courage, it feels like very aligned to the mission. So perhaps in the past when that drive came in or when the when your ambition was ignited, maybe it came from a lower ego. Maybe it was, well, it's not maybe, it's the truth that you were not ready at that time. Your soul had put you through a lot of challenges, obstacle course, difficulties, you questioning yourself on why am I here? Why is this happening to me? It was because you were, this is the year. This is the year for fame. This is the year for big success. This is the year for you getting that big, powerful position. This is the year where people are going to see you. People are going to look to you for advice. People are looking to you for leadership. People are looking to you for showing the way. People are looking for you to create new products people are looking to you to create new solutions that were not there before perhaps for something that has been sticky in the environment perhaps something that has been sticky in the human psyche okay i'm hearing mental health i'm seeing environment and i am seeing technology so these are three big areas that i am picking up right now okay let's look at tarot on, uh, can we get a snapshot of 2023 angels? Wow. This is power 
packed energy. Oh my God. Could it, could we get, could we get a little bit more powerful than this? King of Swords, again, a leader, high suit, high ideas, great ideas. I'll tap into that more. Oh my gosh. And then we got the magician. This is the year for magic manifesting. Watch my creator magic reading. It's there on my channel. Okay. Under that overall. I mean, if you're inspired to, when I said watch it, I'm not forcing you to watch it, but because so much of the magician energy was coming up, I was tapping into that energy. Two more from here, Angel Snapshot for the people in the year 2023. Oh my. Oh my God. I'm glad I'm shuffling on camera so you can see that Arshana just didn't pick out the cards and, and do that. We're getting the magician right next to the magician. You are you are manifesting something magical. This is progressive imaginings, philanthropy, king, king, twice the king, twice the magician. Anytime in tarot we get two times, it's super amplified message. So I'm going to get into that. Okay. One, oh, one more has fallen here. Let us see. Six of Raphael's cup. This is something that you have wanted. This was a long held dream, perhaps when in your childhood or that is recesses in your subconscious mind. It's pulling up your mission uncovered. This is what you're here to do. This is what you're here to do. <clears throat> Wow, I'm feeling so much of the energy in the throat chakra. You're going to express, you're going to overcome these blockages. I'm picking that up. Snapshot for 2023 for the people angels. I'll take two. Nine of wands. And the judgment card. <clears throat> this was meant to be. This was meant to be. You were not meant to give up and you didn't give up. In your search for truth, you are manifesting something very, very big. You're uncovering your mission. This is the year you're not to give up. You are never to give up, but in this particular year, you're not to give up. Do not give up. Stand for what you believe in. Search for that truth. Search for that truth. Search for your truth. Search for what you feel is right in your heart because it is going to be super magical. Super magical. Okay. And in this year, you're going to feel like, you're going to feel like, like from the magician's hat, I'm pulling this out. Wow, I just thought of it and wow, this appeared. Oh, I was thinking about this. I need support and wow, support appeared. Wow, I was thinking like, when am I going to uh, get someone who's going to be on my team and who are very aligned to what I want? Suddenly, the right people just show up and you wonder, wow, I'm feeling like you're going to be surprised at how magical 2020 three fields. We got the energy of the star and the page of pentacles. I love that. 2023. I want to start with a judgment card here. Judgment card is revival, judgment being passed, second chance, like, what are my results? This is, this is what I've done. What have I, what did I receive? I'm here. These were my pluses. These were my minuses. These were my mistakes. These were my wins. This is me. In the rawness, in the nakedness, in the vulnerability, you are as a child of God, as a child of universe, you are you have been praying and asking when is it gonna be my time when is the revival happening for me when is it going to be my time to shine when will i have ease and flow in my life when will i have that love of my life when will i have that wealth and abundance when will i have all of these things i have been doing good i have been putting in the time even though I didn't get support, even though I worked hard, even though I gave of myself, I didn't receive that angels. It's not been fair. I'm here now. What more should I do? There comes the magician. 
this feels like with this, there's a wand here, you probably won't be able to see it. Okay, there's a wand here and it's like this Merlin's wand, literally like this, okay. All lit up, I have aura quartz here, all the colors, okay. So I'm feeling over here is that your heart is with all this green and this uh, dove and the butterfly, I'm feeling that you've transformed into that soft spiritual self and you're crowned with this white crown. I'm feeling like divine light crown. So your judgment in 2023, so the judgment upon you is you deserve abundance. You deserve the love and you are going to be fully supported. You don't, you just have to ask and it's going to come to you. You just have to open your mouth, open your energy to say, that would be nice and it magically appears. So it's going to be a new life. But as a magician, you must remember, keep doing. A message that's coming is with the double magician, that you are the creator. It says here you can manifest the life you want. And what you need will magically appear. And this is a successful beginning. 2023 is going to mark a big change and a big beginning for you. We talk about beginnings all year round, years on we've been talking about beginnings we have beginnings all the time this beginning is not going to be a beginning that you have ever experienced with the two magician cards and the two king cards coming in that's not an accident it is a serendipity it is it is a divine synchronicity for me to repeat this message for you twice over you can manifest it however the key energy with the number one is you must take some action. You must be the one who is searching for that truth, speaking the truth, holding and upholding the truth. So one of the big messages in this year is that be mindful of your words that you put out into the universe. We must always be. But because double magician has come in, which means your energy is super potent, super potent that anything that you say is going to have an impact. So if your thoughts are getting like you're irritated with somebody and you immediately want to snap, which is a normal human tendency, um, you immediately want to snap. Reminder, remind yourself, whatever mantra you need to do, whatever you need to do as a spiritual practice, which will really support you in this year is, I'm going to be extremely mindful of the words that come out of my mouth. I'm going to be extremely mindful of the thoughts that I am connecting with. What thoughts am I connecting with? What is my mindset at? It's very important. With this magician card twice, if you're wanting to have a new career, it's gonna happen. You want a relocation, it's gonna happen. You want a, uh, a soulmate connection, it's gonna happen. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. You want a um, certain amount of money in your bank, it's gonna happen. And also with the magician card, uh, with the double magician card, I'm getting a warning that I must share with everybody. And the warning that I'm feeling is because we're, you can manifest anything you want, what will help you in your soul growth? Yes, that's what's coming through. What will help you in your soul growth is to align your heart and your willpower, not to the lower ego, but to the higher divine will. Meaning that whatever I'm choosing to manifest, is it for the greatest good for all? It's wonderful to manifest those that X amount of money you want in your bank and, and this kind of a house. Where is that sense of giving coming? Do you Are you coming only from the place of, because you have not had it before, now you're just on the accumulation. It is in giving that the energy will flow. So remember that the magician reversed, okay? The magician reversed is someone who is manipulative. So be mindful that it is not harming another. Come from a high level of integrity. Come from a high level of truth. Come from, you're not actively choosing to lie you're choosing honesty so with the double magician double potency double the responsibility
That's what I want to say. That you're being granted, you've been gifted this second chance after a long, long time. Okay, You've been given this chance to for life again, to begin again in a place of abundance, in a place of freedom, in a place of connection, in a place of love, in a place of ease and flow. Okay, But you must be anchored in your heart is a big message that's coming in. Give gratitude because this is the grace of the universe being bestowed for all the work you've done. And now when the floodgates open, don't let the shininess of the world distract you. Keep yourself and heart centered. Don't try to cut corners. Don't try to be less than integrity. And I'm not coming in from preaching because those are the shadow aspects of the magician because the magician is so attuned to the spirit realm, is so attuned to the mind. I can sense exactly what you're thinking. I can feel what you want. I know how to make it happen. So I can manipulate the situation for my advantage, right? Because I have the gift now. Right? I have the gift. I've awakened to that gift. Now, when that gift is awakened, the, the lower energies can come to say, hey, you know what? You can get this big home and we can just cut some corners here. And it, it's not you. That's not who you are. But the shininess sometimes can distract us. Okay, so it's important that you are actually with the healing. We got the star card. I mean, star, king, uh, mission uncovered, Aquarius, king of swords, magician, magician, twice over with this star card. You are meant to be this. You're meant to be this bringer of this new project, this new idea, the new product, the new service, uh, the new place. Maybe you're the new CEO. You're the new um Whatever high level executive position that you're seeking in a corporate world, you're meant to be the one who's going to be impacting others. You're meant to be the one, you're meant to be the one in this life that's part of your mission is to lead others, to show others the way towards light. How you overcame those difficulties, how you stood with the nine of wands, how you stood your ground, how difficult the challenges were. So you understand, and with this king, I'm seeing that. There's this gentleness in this king's eyes, okay, with the lion energy here, with the Leo energy, with the sun's energy. You've gone through um, all these difficulties with these mountains. They were barren mountains, difficult climbing the mountains. You got hurt. There was a lot of pain. There was a lot of uh, sweat and blood. That's what I'm hearing, like sweat and blood type of work here. And now where there was barren land, now you've reached the place where there's a lot of greenery, there's a lot of growth, there's a lot of abundance, there's a lot of greens, oranges and reds. So colors of the sunrise, the colors of the sunset and the color of Mother Earth with a lot of greenery, with a lot of the heart chakra. So you're going to be seen, you're going to rise into power because of your beautiful heart, your giving heart, your generous heart and your energy is meant to lead others and show others the way for hope. I'm hearing hope with the star card. This is also a healing with the double magician energy. Perhaps either in this life or in another, there was a misuse of this energy. Okay, and that's a learning lesson. So now with this hard, difficult lesson, you have uncovered something big and you are going to be reaching a pinnacle point in your life. Mark my words, 2023 is going to be one pinnacle year for you okay i see you there's a lot of healing you are i i see you in your light that's what i'm picking up for most of you i did need to bring in the warning so i see you looking to the light i see you looking to the hope the dream and this person is just pouring the two cups of understanding of love of compassion wherever they go so wherever they go they're bringing in light that's what i see you doing in the year 2023 we're doing a snapshot okay you're going to uncover the mission do not give up focus on the truth stand for your truth being heart-centered being passionate okay you are going to be in a place of power so direct your power for the greater good for all direct your power learn to draw boundaries in 2023 i'm giving you key highlights okay all right now 
Um, I also feel with the page of pentacles coming up here, let's start with the page of pentacles here. I feel like with the page of pentacles that with this Aquarius originality and progressive imaginings in this year, you're going to be starting a project. I'm not seeing that, oh my gosh, this is going to be like in this year itself, you'll make billions of dollars. Okay, I'm not coming with that. This big pentacle, this new project, this uncovering of the mission is going to be something where you're planting this new seed. You are also, I'm seeing you from the king energy. You're coming from a very humble place as a page. Page still has to grow to be a knight. And then, you know, we're working towards a queen and then we work towards the queen or the king. So there is progression that still this person needs to have. I see you. Because you've gone through all those difficulties and you've risen here, you've come out from that challenge, you've come out from all these difficult challenges and you've risen here, you see the landscape. And now you can see others who are willing to climb up that mountain. So I see you offering to as a messenger because pages are messengers you're going to communicate something in a very original way i feel like it's also going to impact the youth i'm picking up youth so whatever you're going to do is going to have an impact on uh, youth and i'm also fe i'm also hearing beginning of mindset so those who are ready on the path of awakening and they, they understand like, okay, law of attraction, they understand like, oh, there's something more, oh, there's something more with serendipity, there's something more with synchronicity, there must be something with this law of attraction, everybody's talking about it, this is the big buzz in the community and I must also manifest with that. You're going to show a certain way in a very, very creative way and I feel like it might be also related to, you might start a philanthropy for kids, for youth it could be people um, who are struggling it doesn't have to be uh, someone who you know someone who's gone through mental challenges mental health um, it could be something with mental health I'm picking up mental health here very strongly um, that you start a philanthropy with that or you you are given that position for that philanthropy where you'll be helping guiding setting some things in in place and it's something where People see you as a very magical person that whatever you're going to bring forth is going to be very, very heart centered. That's what I'm picking up in 2023. Okay, that's I picked that up. Okay, youth. I was picking up youth. So some of you are definitely working with youth groups. Okay, what else am I picking up with this page of pentacles? I see you mentoring actually also. There's also mentoring. I'm picking up mentoring. You're mentoring people and you are giving them certain tools like here. This is the tool. This is for you. And this is what you use. If you use this, ABC happens. So I see a mentoring ability coming up in this year for you. Okay, you may not have considered it that this is what I'm going to do. I see you doing that. Um, with the inner child, with the six of cups, what I'm picking up is you're going to be now in a new group. In this year, if you felt isolated with the Aquarius energy, there can be that energy of detachment. I feel like in this year, you're going to reconnect with your soul tribe. You're going to, you're going to reconnect with people where you feel like you've known them forever and ever. It feels so good. It feels so happy. There are no pretenses. You don't have to pretend to be someone else. You're going to love that. I, I love that. Okay. Again, it's saying children and childhood. Maybe you'll be working with childhood trauma. Maybe you work with people with children who are orphaned. Maybe you work with children who have um, 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 mental illnesses coming back again very strongly. And I also am picking up, oh my gosh, I'm picking up cancer. Maybe you'll work with people who have cancer or other diseases. But I, I saw like a child with cancer and no hair. So maybe you'll work with that. Maybe you'll find something. Maybe you'll bring her of joy in that. I don't know. I don't know. I can't see that. But that's what I'm picking up with this children and childhood. Maybe you'll help people plant new seeds. Maybe you create like a, um, a home for children to come in, for youth to come in, those who are, who are abandoned, orphaned, uh, or going through a difficult uh, uh, time, or for those who cannot afford some things, and you help maybe a non-profit. It, it doesn't have to be that you know, you're know you doing this for free. You are, you're manifesting wealth, okay? I see that here too, it's a king. You're leading the way, there's wealth there. There's a wealth of knowledge, there's a wealth of spirit, there's a wealth of love, there's wealth of money that I'm seeing over here. Okay. And I feel like you're pouring this healing divine energy. You're going to flow with this divine energy in the year 2023. There are going to be new relationships that come in. 
they may be a coming together with the six of cups and this page of pentacles there may be connections that open up for you okay uh, in love relationships are coming together but this year this what i've tapped into right now feels more about what your mission is that's what i'm picking up i mean that was not the intention i was just opening it up maybe some of you have been asking because for those who will be tuning into the reading that must have been something that you've been asking at a soul level of i want something that's more fulfilling i want to know why am i here or why am i feeling a certain way certain questions you've been putting out some of you have been doing it actively and some of you do not realize it but that's what you've been doing so i see that 2023 is going to be a super magical year very healing you're rising to power and uh truly this is the year of your mission you have been working on your mission you've been working on your life purpose and this is the year you're going to sense it you're going to know it you're going to feel it and um i also see with the six of cups and a page of pentacles that there is great um offerings and partnerships that's what i'm picking up so that's why with the two magicians i i want to leave the scales completely blank like i i want to leave it literally like are you looking for passion you can manifest it are you looking for love and abundance you can manifest it are you looking for more spiritual insights and deeper spiritual psychic abilities you can manifest it you want a deeper connection with the divine you can manifest it you want more unconditional love in your relationships you can manifest it let's go i can tell you everything over here what is it that you're wanting to manifest is my question you want to direct your power and see if you're going to be able to do something like that yes you can manifest it you want to be able to be more confident and have more confidence and um you know um uh, pull from that you can manifest it you want to have all that drive passion a great body um a great fitness regime you want to have like a great um physical environment you can manifest it let's go let's go i can i can the i don't have enough to tell you on what you can manifest you know best you can manifest anything with a double magician that is your key message in this reading that you can manifest anything that you want you're going to be given everything whatever you need whatever you need is going to come to you this is going to feel a very very magical year to so come back to this reading a year later and tell me hey archna it was the most magical year that would be like diamonds to my ears it would be amazing to hear that i would love for this to manifest in the highest vibration possible that's my heart's desire i was meant to do this okay i was going to make this a super short reading because i have the long the the deep dives but uh double magician and double king energy really speaks of is um a lot of power coming to you and this was long 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 time in incubation and you worked very 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 hard for this so you deserve it so stay in your heart centered in this year and may this manifest in the best way and that you're able to not only manifest the best for you but manifest it for humanity for others and goodness for others if you'd like a personal reading you can reach out to me your yearly readings and if you'd like to work with me on uh, I'm a spiritual coach uh, and I also work I have women's wellness and uh, I am an energy healer so if there are different um, things that you'd like to work with me on one on one I'm very happy to do that and uh, in 2023 my website's going to be up so you can reach out to me through that and in the meanwhile you can reach out to me by email so I send you love and light this is Arshna here and I will talk to you soon namaste